Welcome to Tulte Geek. I previously was experimenting of making these two-dimensional wrenches, but I recently uh, found that there are some self-adjusting uh, wrenches. I wonder if we can make one that's 2D. So basically, you can make a 2D diagram and then either print it or cut it with laser, water jet, you, may, you name it. It's a very simple uh, design process and then uh, using these uh, type of hinges that are 2D but still you can move an angle. So I've seen some of these um, self-adjusting wrenches. Sometimes they have a spring and that seems to be important. I um, built a few, uh, first one and if you don't have that spring it seems like it doesn't really work so i started using rubber bands as the the spring and can grab a fastener and it has a ratcheting action so that's, that's pretty cool so uh, this one i just cut a notch with a saw but in the next one i made specifically a Part of the design to accommodate these uh, rubber bands. So now in this one, uh, let's see if it works for this size. So it has this ratcheting action and it's relatively simple to design. So I'm um, very happy with how this is turning out. Probably some refinements needed, but uh, it's a simple way to make a tool. So imagine if you were to um, laser cut this, or even you could cut it by hand from a piece of metal. You can make a useful tool without having to deal with a complex three-dimensional geometry. So I'm gonna remove the band to see its shape a little better. As you can see it has this hinge and here goes a rubber band. So something easy to make, probably obviously uh, making it in metal would be more useful, but here I'm just gonna prototyping. I think this needs more refinement still, but it's looking pretty good. We start to see the ratcheting action. I'm not a mechanical engineer, but it seems like having a spring seems to matter. Without that, this doesn't really work. So you kind of need something to put a little bit of pressure and then the, the teeth do the rest of the work. So Tinkering, trying to make minimalist tools. Thank you for watching.